Right, we're going to tie a quick bash streamer that I use in the estuaries uh, on the hook. Is a RX NS172 in size one. Perfect little hook for this sort of stuff. Lovely wide gape on it with such a short shank, so perfect. So give us a little blob of glue. GSP 100. Just put a little thread base down. Now, what I want to do is it's not an overly flashy fly, it's mostly bait fish fibers, but we'll get a little bit of Ripple Ice Minnow Mix. And just pull a load out and just put this at the base of the hook underneath 50 50. What that does is just gives a nice little inner core flash, not too much, but it's just enough. Um, this light makes it look a lot more shine than what it is. Actually, Minimix is very translucent. So what we do next is it's bait fish fibre. This stuff is from Big Streamers. And from the full hank, I've cut a full length off the full hank and then cut about a quarter off. And what you need to do is just tease this out with a nice taper. And I'm going to tie it in mostly forward, two thirds forwards, one third back. Split that and then fold that straight back over. Sh secure it down with a couple wraps. Gives a nice taper. And what we'll do is I have a sculpting flash. Again, you pull a small piece off. Now, this does have flash in it. This is olive. Drop my scissors. full length and again I cut that quarter off taper not much here I'll tie that again I'd say third back two threads forward straight on top Splay it out, lock it down, pull the super glue, Some Vineyard Crinkle Dub, just a small amount. Twist this on the thread. Gives it a nice holographic inner body. I 
get my bait fish fibre again. I'll pull a small strand off, cut it at full length. Now fold it over in half. Taper. Again, a third back, two threads forward. Make sure that's spread out nicely, fold that over. Flip it over the other side. Use the other half. Taper. Again, a third back, rest it forward, and make sure it's spread out nicely, fold that back, lock that over. Now that, depending on what colours you're using, you could pretty much make that as a, that's a ready to go streamer on that now. Um, I like to add a little bit of a head. Just going to add some accent flash on the top. One more veil of the sculpting flash in olive. This does have flash in, as you can see. You only want about half of this. So if you, it's good to tie these if you're tying a couple. No point wasting materials for the sake of it. Taper this out. It's got a nice taper to it. And on this one, it's op the op opposite way, thread forward, two threads back. Dab of super glue. Oh, let's carry on. Comb. Just run this through with a comb. Make sure you get all the sides. And it being fibrous, it and then makes a really nice. Blend them. And now for the head material, which is basically just predator dubbing. So not not a great deal. Just grab and pull. Grab and pull. I like to just make sure it's all relatively stacked. So all the fibres are lined up, going the same direction. And then two fives back, one third forward, spread around. Put the flat the other way. The white. Same again, you don't need loads. Rip and stack. So it's all, all the fibers are going the same way. I like to do this one 50-50.
What you can do now is just a bit of super glue on the thread. Just wrap that round. Once the head secured over, you can cut that off now. Make sure it's all evenly spread around the hook. Flip the dubbins over. I like to split the split the bottom, the white, in two. Bring it round. I like to get a hair clip. Ready for some eyes. I turn the fly on its side. Get your chosen eyes. Any little deer creeks. I take them off and I like to put them on the back of my hand. Now, because I'm going to be casing the head of this, I don't need to glue it with um, epoxy or super glue because the whole the whole head's going to be covered in a resin in a second. A UV resin, sorry. Um, so you just get a, a splodge of your UV. You want the eyes? Get that soak that right into the fibres. One eye. Put over the other way, exactly the same again. Soak the heck with the UV. Push it down nice and tight. All the fibres and bring them back again. Actually, use a bit of tape. So, golf granddaddy. Good shake. Now the golf granddad, well all the golf vision predator UVs have a glitter, so it can be uh, Big Mama is red, Granddaddy gold, Big Daddy silver. So we just infilled that now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna. Seal over the top of the eye, get my tubbing needle and rip lights on it. 
blotch on top of the eye. And I use the needle now just to rub it around the eye. Seal that. Same as all on the other side. Dollop on the eye. Move that around with your dubbing needle. a little bit more the top I do have a couple of stray fibres here. Oh, the UV's been set. You can, you're better off doing this after the UV's been set because what you don't want to do is touch the wet UV and all you end up doing is making it worse. So again, I'm just going to run a quick comb through the whole thing as you can see that's quite a nice little bait fish line the uh, Gonna have to clean the tail up a bit with some scissors. And there you have it. Quick and easy. Generic bait fish fly. I use them for bass, but pretty much anything will eat that. Alright, until next time, cheers.